Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And you may be wondering why my camera format's a little bit different today. That is because I'm trying a new camera editing format for Street Dance China. What I have learned very quickly um, as I've been recording some trailers uh, is that YouTube is blocking them very fast and so I've been troubleshooting different ways to get an unblocked version on YouTube so it doesn't turn into a Patreon exclusive thing. I really want to get as much of that out to both platforms as possible. So for Street Dance uh, China, I will be taking this approach where I'm going to be more of the bigger video and the content will be more of a smaller video. For Patreon, it will actually be flip-flops. I'll have it as normal um, on there. That's just to make it a little bit... Um, if people want to see a bigger version of my analysis, there's an option available there. But in order for it to be on YouTube, I gotta make it smaller and more bite-sized. So I do apologize if that's not quite the format you want or you're used to. Um, I, it is always a work in progress and hopefully one day I won't have to do that and I can figure out another way to get it back to normal. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this trailer. It is the third trailer I'm looking at for Street Dance China season six. I've already seen episode zero, which kind of explains the new things that are a part of the season that are different from seasons past as well as um i've already seen two trailers but they have been blocked capital b they are on patreon no issues there but um you may not see them on youtube because i have tried everything to get them on here but this is our third one i think it has to deal more so with the judges and it's a reverse situation where the participants get to choose the judge that they want to audition for versus other circumstances so we're going to take a look at that let's get into it 今年我们又将回到第一季竞演反选的初始赛制。让我们开启。From the first season, so this happened during the first season. It's very similar to how Show Me the Money did it at one point. Venice Wu. I know he. Go go Vanna still doing his thing and, and bringing that kind of he was he was in a season pass. I do know that. I don't know which season though. That's cool. And no, I haven't seen the, these performances of the guys. So I'm definitely looking forward to the judge showcases. I think it's either me. Oh man. So apparent so I'm assuming it uh this is a very short and sweet kind of thing. I have not seen the judges uh showcases or anything, but it appears based on what they said that they implemented this back in the first season. Um I I'm a fan, a huge fan of the logos. They look super cool. The animation looks pretty sick. It kind of reads a little bit like uh what is it? I don't wanna misplace my my verbiage here. Uh, League of Legends, you know, like the intensity of, of that animation side of the graphics, I think it brings that to the table. And I know that China has a very large presence in the professional gaming world. So I think it's cool to kind of see that here. So there's a lot of respect that they have for Venice Wu. I do not know what season he was on, um, but I do know that he is from a season's past and he's coming back. So he's kind of like an all-star judge in that sense. Jay Park's very new to this. I normally see him on Show Me The Money and I know he's on Asia's Got Talent. I have mentioned this in another video, but I'll go ahead and say it here. Bless the man. He's going to have to wear long sleeves the entire show. We all know he's decked out with full sleeves as well as on his neck. So he's going to be looking like a big old band-aid for about 98% of the show. But it's kind of fun for that. Um, you know, so he, yeah, he said he has that OG flavor. Now they're giving commentary on how they felt about the other judges showcases. Now I can't speak to that at this point because I have not seen it. I also know it is not really a criteria for those choreographies. It's more so here is who I am as a judge. This is what I can bring to the table. And this is what I want my team. This is what's going to be emulated from my team. If you are selected to be a part of it, or if you choose me to be a part of it. So, which is kind of cool. I really like it. You know, that's, it looks super cool. 
They said Ding's dance was very artistic. So it looks like he's going to be taking more of a new school approach in concept. So even though it may have some street style fundamentals because it's street dance, right? Some street fundamentals integrated, but maybe his music genres are more innovative, maybe contemporary in that realm, classical, something like that. Maybe the use of contemporary dancers or that art form, because there are some street styles that can overlap like waving that can really help overlap into that realm. I know animation too has made its presence there as well. So I'm very intrigued about this. Hold on, is that Dokyun? Hold on. Dokyun from Korea, please hold. Gotta make a quick thing. So I did a whole another trailer. We got to see some of the all-stars. I didn't see him on that lineup. Is that Dokyun from South Korea? He's a popper. Y'all let me know because if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, just only that. <laughs> but no, like that, he's freaking sick. And it looks like King Tatut is there too. Why, why were these not mentioned in the other trailers? Unless they were a part of a, wait, no, that's not, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's him. His hair's similar. I don't I don't know. I think that's Dokyun for sure. I'm really gonna I'm gonna say yes to that. That could be King Tata. I don't know if that is him. Um I haven't seen him with facial hair. So anyway. Anyway, they, they could have been a part of the judges showcase. It could have been because that was J Park. And so those two guys are from Korea. So maybe J Park used them as part of his judge showcase. That would be my guess because they did not show up as people in the trailer. But that still makes me so excited. Guys, I freaked out during one of those trailers uh, when they because the battle judges, they had Pop and Pete and Wiggles. Guys, having them as battle judges, no one can discredit those two. Wiggles especially. He is such a, I've said this before, he is a library a symposium of knowledge and he knows what is good and he knows what is not good and fake and something that's authentic versus inauthentic and he's one of the best people to differentiate that on a competitive stage so i'm so excited to see that portion of the show i'm also excited about the choreographer side as well i do think it's interesting though that the judges are like who you think's gonna win you know some of them are taking the more humble approach some are like well i hope it's me and some of them are like I think it's going to be between me and somebody else. So you have different dynamics of uh, pride and ego, which is, I'm intrigued on how uh, how it's going to appear throughout the show. I did hear that this show may be a little bit better for me personally because it is focused more on the dancers and the integrity of dance and not so much about the drama they're not really fabricating as much drama here as they are in the mnet world so i did hear that i am looking forward to that once the excerpts start coming out and i may tune in to a different season while i'm watching season six just so i can get two different uh years of perspectives uh but yeah i'm definitely really excited about this it's gonna be super cool Thank you guys again for watching. I hope this was, I mean, I don't think my trailers were as helpful as my analysis are, but I am very excited about this show. It is slightly different than what I've seen from the Street Fighter series, and I will continue to react to that as that releases, but I am definitely have been waiting for this to come out so I can tackle it because it's going to be, you have not just a couple world-class dancers, most of them are going to be world-class within their field. So it's not only going to be a challenge towards each other, it's going to be a challenge for me in the sense of I have to bring my A game and how I choose to analyze it because these are a lot of these people are my are colleagues. Some of them are my colleagues. Some of them are people that um, when I organize events or when I'm a part of events, they're the ones that are the battle guests for or the judges for. So there's this natural, I have more of a connection with some of these people here than I do in the street woman fighter world, even though I, I do have connections there. It's just going to be very different and I'm very excited about it and I'm so looking forward to it. If you want to see more of this content or any content that cannot make its way to YouTube I do have a patreon with all of that that you can go check out but if you're one who wants to be patient and, and be okay with waiting that is absolutely fine as well I'm Jess and I will catch you on the flip side bye